Hey fam, welcome to Jack the Jeep. So today I'm in Arizona, right outside Tucson. Sorry, it's a little hard to hear me, but I'm at Chiva Falls. It's a nice little uh, ride in. If I can jump across here without breaking my neck. Ooh. Anyway. Gorgeous. This is the part I love about wheeling. Now I was supposed to go out with a neighbor of mine that lives out here in Tucson, but uh, his fuel line broke yesterday on the way back from Phoenix and it almost caught his Jeep on fire. So uh, he's doing some repairs today. We may be going out tomorrow or sometime this week. Not quite sure. I'm trying to figure out how to get across this. But in the meantime, I'm gonna switch back to the Jeep. Gotta go on that way. CJ did great. Just got it out of the shop about a month ago. This is the first time I've been able to get it off road. Kind of see what it can do. Sean and the team at TNT Customs did an amazing job. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. I had to traverse all that. Ooh. Nice little trail in. There are some technical, technical uh, sit areas like three feathers, some other little things. Jeep had no problem. I didn't take the hardest lines just because I'm learning it. But again, it works great. Still trying to learn how soft it is. See how much it's gonna sway and just get used to those coilovers. So I'll get a little bit of footage added at the end of this. That way you guys can see a little bit of it. I may stop on the way out. If there's other Jeeps there, I'm right now just with three side-by-sides. And I don't really want to get into a too hairy of a predicament. Roll or something. And not be able to get help or uh, get rolled back over. So I'm just kind of taking it easy, working the bugs out. Kind of doing a shakedown run going from there. But if there are some other big vehicles at Three Feathers... I will definitely show you guys that again at the end of this. In the meantime, please click subscribe, hit the bell, that way you can be notified of any new content. Summer's coming guys, I'm gonna be wheeling a lot more, especially with my Jeep out of the shop. So, hey, if you like it, follow it, right? Let's get back to the action. show you it's called three feathers but there's actually a few different ways to get 
up and down this. I'm out here by myself now because the, the side-by-sides wanted to go a different route out. This is the only real big obstacle um, on the trail. And I'm just, I'm not going to screw around much on it because one, I'm by myself. Two, I really don't want to roll this son of a gun. But yeah, I am going to climb out. I'm just not sure which way. So let me flip this camera around real quick. All right, Zeus is down there, so I could hang a left and go back up around this tree and up around. I could come up this way, which is where a lot of people would go. Um, this is the hard way right here. Come up, climb this undercut, and go. This is what I wanted to do right there. Um, nonetheless, there's no one here. I am not going to take a chance. So my either two choices I want, I'm not going to go the far way around. That's just a super easy way. I may go up this route here. Let me zoom out. There we go. I may go up this route and around. There's also a fourth way and it's over here. So it's actually more or less like four feathers instead of three feathers. And this is what they call the V notch. Which really isn't too, too rough. You can kind of tell. I'm going to go up to the top and put you down and see which way I decide to go here. V-notch is not too bad. Again, I lay it on my side. I'm kind of screwed over. Looking down, though. I'm not come up here. This is where wanting to try right there but that's undercut a little bit it's not super hard I just would have to get up and try to climb back over this way but again by myself I am not taking that chance again this route here looks pretty easy when I went down it let's see here this way but again this is the first time I had my Jeep out still learning it a little bit I went down can't I came off this rock here cut and went down which is pretty smooth the side by the sides we're doing it I'm half tempted to go right up this right here come up get up this big hump here which isn't too tough I just can't get left driver side or I'll fall off and I can roll um, you know what? I'm not doing that. And the reason why is again, by myself, I'm just being smart here. This is going to put my passenger side tall, higher. And with that little dip right there, it's going to be butt puckering. And if I get too far driver or to my left, I'm going over and I'm going to be laying down right there. But this is called three feathers. Again, there is another route way over here eh, it's not really smooth I have to come up over those I don't know what to do guys I don't know what to do Looks sketchier from up here. Sometimes I like to just walk the line a little bit. See, this part's not really, I mean, it's a little slick, but that's easy. Get to this, straddle it, and go up. Or if I had a spotter, I know I could make this. I know I can make that just because I just don't want to get too far sideways. This is what I wanted to try. Maybe next time. It's not huge. It's not that big. It's really wide. But because of the angles and everything else, 
I'm not going to take that chance. All right, let's see which way I go. I'm just going to put the camera down, point it somewhere, and see which way my Jeep takes me. So I'm going to take this route here. I am going to come up over this little mound right here where it's black. Okay, let's see. Really wanted to play on here, but we can't. No one's here. Sure, the heck, not gonna take that chance. leave a comment below and uh, if I get some responses from that I will give you guys a walk around on everything that was done to it at the shop at TNT Customs. Um, it took quite a while to, I mean heck it took 10 months just to get the coil coilovers in because everything as you know from COVID out of stock so a lot of different things but uh, yeah if you want to see more and you want to know about the Jeep a little bit leave a comment below <laughs> that wasn't near as hard the way i went up it, again i know it wasn't the difficult part but there's no one out there you heard some cheering because there were some hikers coming through with their dog and they wanted to see it um i did put a little bit more into it right here with this little obstacle and put my tire up on the side just that way i wouldn't get lopsided and i wouldn't get into my, my door Anyway, there's going to be a lot more content coming from Zeus, CJ7, and myself, Jack the Jeep, Steve. Please click subscribe, hit that bell, that way you can be notified of any new content. In the meantime, leave it better than you found it. Thank you again for watching. I'm out. Later.